What economic events affect a shareholder's equity in a company? Well, to start with, this is a distinct concept from variations in the value or market value of the equity on the market. That's based upon projection and demand for the equity at hand. What we are talking about here is uh, variations that affect the shareholder's equity on the balance sheet. So to start with, shareholder's equity is made up of contributions of capital and retained earnings. So if the company has profits or losses, but in this case profits that are retained by the company, it makes the shareholder's equity go, go up. If they have losses, again, that uh, the shareholder's equity goes down commensurately. Okay, next. If any of the uh, paid in capital or retained earnings are distributed to the owners, to the shareholders, this as well makes retained earnings uh, go down, so reduces shareholders' equity. Okay, next, if the company issues new shares, that is, it authorizes and issues new shares, or it sells some of its treasury shares, in either of these situations, if uh, new investors purchase these shares, it brings in additional capital into the company. Now, the uh, total number of outstanding shares increases, so there is likely going to be some dilution in percentage of ownership, even if it doesn't dilute the total value in the company. So it would change the additional paid-in capital of the company uh, in that way. So. Uh, and then lastly, the repurchase of shares for treasury stock. If the company uses retained earnings or paid in capital to repurchase some of the shares that have been issued to capitalize the company, this will reduce shareholders' equity commensurately and create a holding for, again, treasury stock there. So all of these are economic events that could affect a shareholder's equity interest in a company.